G'day guys and welcome to another Blender Bros tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how we use a ladders to um, just to deform an object. Okay, so in this case I have a ball that I made here, and then I can use this lattice lattice rig setup that I'm going to show you guys how to make to distort it pretty much. And this is a really fun rig to use because you can really quickly um, reset things. Okay, and you can you can save out animations and things like that. And it's also really fun because, it, you know, I can use this rig setup pretty much on anything. I mean, I can get rid of this ball, just place anything here in the middle, and just apply a lattice modifier to it, and I can distort it, uh, and morph it around, things like that. So I really hope you guys enjoy this, and uh, let's get right into it. Okay, so we're going to get started by opening up a brand new scene in Blender, okay? And I'm going to go ahead and press A to select everything, and then just X and delete. Very quickly bring up my screencast keys. Now, um, to do this, we're going to start by um, creating the object that we're going to um, morph or warp. And I'm just going to use a cube, and then I'm going to go ahead to my uh, modifiers panel here. Okay, I'm going to add modifier, and I'm going to add a subdivision surface. Okay, I'm going to set the view to something like 3, and I'm going to go apply. Okay, and then go into edit mode. Okay, and then I'm going to press space bar. Okay, with all my vertices selected, and go um, to sphere, okay? And you're going to set here to sphere, and I'm going to select that, and I'm just going to pull like that, and it's going to make it into this perfect little sphere. Now, why didn't I just use a um, sphere like this? Well, it's because this has triangles in it and it won't deform very nicely, so that's why I'm not using that sphere, okay? Always use one like this if you can use it for deformation, it works much better. Anyway, with all that aside, I'm going to go ahead and enable smooth shading. And I'm going to go make this cycles render. Okay. And I'm going to go to my materials tab here. I'm going to add new. I'm just going to call this white. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead in here and select these guys here. Add a new material. New. Assign. And I'm going to make this a bluish color. And in the view, viewport settings, I'm just going to also make it blue. Then I'm going to go ahead and select these guys. I'm going to face select, kind of deselect these. Add a new material, new, call this red. And I'm just going to go assign, make it red here. All red. And then go ahead and viewport and make it red. Okay. And the reason I did that is just to, um, you know, so when we actually do distort the ball and play around with it, we can actually see um, which direction it is happening. Because if it's just completely white, we won't re really be able to tell. So anyway, that with that done, let's get to the fun part. We're going to go ahead now and go add. And we're going to add a lattice, OK? Now, one thing to know about the lattice modifier is that you do not want to edit it in edit mode, always in object mode at first. Because whatever you do in edit mode is going to be applied later on when you add it as a modifier. It's going to distort things and mess it up. So always edit it in object mode. So I'm going to go ahead and size it up like so. Okay. And looking at both sides, it should be perfectly rounded. Okay. Okay. That's good. That's what I wanted. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to my, you'll see here now that I have my um, lattice selected, I'm going to go to my lattice settings and I'm going to make each one of these one extra count. Okay. So it's going to be free, free, free on the U, V and W. Okay. And now that that is done, I'm also going to go ahead. Okay. And with my um, with my ladder selected, I'm going to tab into edit mode. Okay, or you can go down here to edit mode, and we're going to do something called hooking. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead, right click on a vertice that I want to add a hook to, and I'm going to go space bar, and then type in hook. Okay, and then I'm going to go hook to selected object. Okay, sorry, wait, it should be working. Maybe that's the wrong one. Hook. Oh, hook to new object. Okay, sorry. Make sure it's hook to new object. Okay, hook to new object. Okay, so if I go out of here now, I'm going to see it has created this um, this hook, this this little empty. So I don't want the empty to look like this. So I'm going to go to with my empty selected here. I'm going to go to my um, this little propeller thing here. Okay, and I'm going to change this from plane axis to sphere, and make it the size 0.2. Okay, like so. And now I'm going to go and repeat that. I'm going to go select this um, this vertice here, to new hook. I'm going to select this vertice here, 
two new hook, this one here, two new hook, this one here, two new hook, and the bottom one, this one, two new hook. Okay, and now I'm just going to do the same thing that I did just there. I'm going to go sphere, point two, and I'm just going to go around for these ones, okay? It's a little bit tedious, but it's not, not too much work. Point two. Now, the nice thing I will tell you guys about this rig is that you can really apply it to anything. I mean, you don't have to, once you've done, you're done with it, you can save it somewhere and you can use it on other objects as well. So it's really fun. Um, I really think this is a very versatile little, um, little setup. I've used it for all sorts of things. And lately I've been primarily using it in character um, things to add some more um, detail to my animation. So I've been applying, applying these little lattice setups to parts of my, um, my character rig. But anyway, now that I'm done with this, you can see here we now have these hooks applied in certain areas, okay? But the problem is if we animated this right now, you know, then we're moving things around and if we want to undo things, it's much more challenging. Then we have to come here to our properties bar and, you know, set things back over here. And we don't want to do that every time. So what we're going to do is we're going to add an armature system here. So when we animate this eventually, when we want to reset everything, it's really easy it's really easy to copy over information, you know, and uh, save things out. And it just gives you a whole lot more control. So we're going to go ahead now and in object mode, okay, nothing, everything deselected. I'm going to go make sure my cursor is in the center and I'm going to go add, I'm going to add an armature and I'm going to add a single bone. Okay. And then I'm going to go to my armature settings here and enable x-ray. Then with that selected, I'm going to go into edit mode on my bones. And then I'm going to go and shift duplicate move this bone up here roughly and then with this bone selected I'm going to hold in shift select this one by right clicking on it okay and then I'm going to go control P and keep offset okay so now this one is parented to this one so I'm just going to grab this guy size it down like so maybe size this guy down as well okay now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here select this guy at the top shift S cursor to select it select my armature again with this one selected shift S selection to cursor okay so now it's placed that right in the middle of that one. And I'm just going to do the same thing to all of them. Okay, so shift duplicate. Okay, cursor to selected. Selection to cursor. Okay, it's super easy. Shift duplicate. Let's go here. Selection to cursor. A cursor to selected, I mean. And then selection to cursor. So super easy. Shift duplicate. Shift duplicate. And I'm just going to repeat this. Okay, it's a little bit tedious, like I said. Um, cursor to selected selection to cursor but it's not that bad we're almost done okay and you know the more you use blender the quicker this will become so cursor to select it I mean wait but I just did the wrong thing okay selection to cursor okay now you can see here we have oh one more to go shift duplicate cursor to selected selection to cursor right there Okay, now we have all of them done, and if I go here to my pose mode and I select this middle bone, you can see everything is parented, all these bones are parented to the middle one. Okay, so that's the hierarchy. Okay, so one thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and do some parenting here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and select this, uh, select my whole rig, go to pose mode, and in pose mode, I'm going to go ahead and right click on this top guy here, and holding in shift. I'm going to select this guy here and now it's now active and I'm going to go control P and I'm going to go with bone. Okay. S set parent to bone. Don't do any of these. Okay. It'll really mess things up. Just do bone. There we go. Okay. And then I'm going to do the same thing here. Select this guy. Bone. Okay. And just go around and do that. Okay. Alt P bone. Alt P bone. Just go around, super easy. Alt, I mean Control P. Sorry, did I say Alt P? I meant Control P. <laughs> That's why you guys should always look down here at um at the bottom here. Okay, if I said I should have said Alt P. I think. I mean Control P. Control P. <laughs> uh, I'm getting confused here. Um, anyway, select this. Control P. Alt. What am I even saying? Control P, bone. Okay, so they should all be parented to their um, individual little um, 
bone. Okay, this one isn't done yet. So I quickly select that. Alt P bone. Okay. So Okay, that's all done. And now what I can do is I can go ahead and I'm gonna go select um the art the I'm gonna select the ladders and then holding in shift I'm gonna right click on the rig and I'm gonna go control P and then go to bone. Okay, so if I do select my rig now, okay, everything should go with it. Okay, that's what we want. Okay. Oops. So that works. Okay. And now for the fun part, I'm going to also select my ball and I'm just going to go and right click on the rig and then go control P with bone. Okay. But you can see now if we go and select the armature and I move one of these around, you're going to see it's not editing our ball because what we have to do is we have to select our ball here, go to our modifiers panel and we're going to add a lattice before modifier and I'm going to select a little eyedropper and select the lattice like so. And now the fun part, the magic. If I grab this here, my um, bone system, and I go to pose mode, now what we can do is we can edit our ball with our bones, okay? This is really fun. We can do all sorts of cool things. This is really useful for animation especially. And if we wanna undo everything, we can just go in our, uh, with our bones selected, select all of them, Alt G, Alt R, and voila, everything is back to where it was, okay? Why is this one giving me a hard time? I must have accidentally moved it. I think I accidentally moved that one instead of the bone. But anyway, you can see here. See, we can very quickly now um, um, move things around here and create all sorts of interesting shapes with our ball, distort it, and we can very quickly reset everything, okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed this um, tutorial and it's really useful. I'll quickly show you what I've used this for. If I quickly go here, this is a new project I'm working on, by the way. And um, if I quickly show you guys here, um, just render only tools. This is a little character concept of mine. Uh, I got a lattice. You can see here, I'm using this lattice system for all sorts of, now obviously this is a much more um, advanced setup but you know, it's still the same thing. I'm using a lattice pretty much with um, connected to bones to, to do really cool things. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Please like and subscribe. Um, if you want to check out my website, I've got some cool um, animation courses on there, you know, how to do a robot arm and everything. So yeah, that is it. And I will see you guys later. Thank you for watching. Oh, one thing I could also probably show you. If you wanted to if I could go add mesh, what if I added a cube? Okay. If I added a cube here quickly, and I just subdivided that, just to prove my point. W smooth. Okay. What I can do is I can also take this setup here. Okay. And I can go shift duplicate. Why doesn't want to do that? Okay. Wait. Just I'm just going to delete the ball. Okay. I'm going to size this cube down, put it in the middle here, and I'm just going to go ahead and give it a lattice modifier and select the lattice. So quickly, just like that, oops, I can go ahead now. It's not right in the middle, it's a problem, but still, you can see here I'm able to edit it. If I had put it properly in the middle, it would have been better. Yeah, like that. So now I can quickly come here and just really have some fun with this. Okay, anyway, I'll see you guys later. Okay. Thanks for watching.